Good morning. Just gone 6 a.m. Time for another video. Uh, this video is a video of two parts. The first part is going to be about why do expats or foreigners, why do foreigners living in who, who come to move to Thailand seem to always end up going home? And I'm not sure if that statistic is completely accurate, but <clears throat> for my understanding, my, for my experience being here four years, you know, because we do what we do, make these videos and have a business, I've got the unique opportunity to meet many, many people. And in them four years, all the people I've met that have said, hey, Richie, we're moving here, most have gone home. So the last people that came in the shop and told me we're going home soon, I was like, oh, right, okay. And it just made me think, you know, I can count on my one hand, I think, the guys, it's mostly guys that are still here and the rest have gone. And I was thinking, why is that? Well, what's happening? Why are people leaving? And the second part is going to be touching on the last video. <laughs> uh, Hey, look, our channel doesn't get as many views as before, but the, for the amount of views, the amount that it's got so many comments, so many, and it doesn't usually, you don't usually get that many comments unless you talk about something that, you know, makes people comment. So, yeah, we'll talk about that in the next part, and I'll read out a few of them comments. But first, time to hit the streets. So, this video topic foreigners leaving here and the last video why I left the UK could say very similar topics but polar opposite reasons uh, like I say I will go through some of the comments from the last video can't go through them all there's so many 600 and something comments 20 something thousand views so that's a lot of comments for so, so many views and to get comments you really have to trigger something in people you know whether that's love or hate, but yeah, if you haven't seen it, go and check it out and, and have a read of the comments. 95, more than 95% agreeing, and I am aware most that disagree probably just click off and don't comment. But yeah, there's some that have, don't agree, obviously. And yeah, we'll go over a few of them as well, a few of them topics, just read them out. And, but yeah this video why foreigners leave this paradise to go back home to the place I slated in the last video let's get into it I've got a little list of reasons I, I've written down here uh, and like I say this is I don't know if this is accurate statistic how do I say that word? <laughs> statistic uh, this is from my experience in four years so yeah I have met more moving here more have gone home than have stayed, way more. Whether that's the time we did it as well, you know, I moved here during COVID, so, well, at the beginning of COVID, so after the first year, once people were allowed to come in, quite a lot came. I'm like, yeah, we've had it. You know, that, that what's just happened has made me move. So maybe that's a bigger reason, you know, it's made people make a, a knee-jerk reaction, but the reasons that I'll go through if you're moving here, maybe it's good to have these in mind and think about it, you know. And I had to put first, number one, money. Because, yeah, that's the, the biggest thing I've seen is people either running out of money, setting up a business that doesn't work, money, getting a job, and then the money you're earning. If you get a job here, you're not going to be on good money. So yeah, you can live in paradise, but you're not on very good money. Difficult. Uh, working online, not making enough money. <laughs> you, know, you can live here very, very frugal. You know, not spend a lot of money, but after a while that can become, you know, yeah. So that's just one of the, the biggest reasons. And then I'm not even gonna go into the, the usual thing what I see on YouTube so much is I mean people have got whole channels on this topic of guys coming 
falling in love with the wrong girl that happens to work at a, in a bar and, and opening a business and failing. You know, people have got whole channels on this subject. There's a, there's a conveyor belt of guys waiting to get off the plane, come, fall in love and blow all their money on a sh shit business. <laughs> spend it all in this in this tropical paradise because their head is so far gone and then go home broken-hearted with no money you know it happens a lot I'm talking more I'm not really mixing in these circles I'm talking more people that actually want to come and live here normal even families I've met families you know serious people that have gone home okay so the next one I've changed a little bit expectations and missing home I've just added missing home because yeah I think a lot of people maybe you holiday here you visit here regular but you've never been and stayed for a long period of time or yeah it's very different holidaying here to living here very different uh, and then also if you never stayed away from home for long periods of time you start to miss home you know your expectation is going down, the missing home is going up. And yeah, very easy to go. This is not what I was expecting life to be like. What made me think of the missing home thing was my friend who's lived here for a very long time said at year one, how are you, how are you, how are you doing? I'm good, yeah, good, do you miss home? No, okay, yeah, good. And he said, I'll ask you again in six months because usually people get to that year, a year and a half and they start to, their expectations are lowering and their missing home is rising and they go, they have to, oh, I've got to go home. Why? For some reason, they'll find a reason and they go home and that's it. Goodbye. Thailand, life, new life, gone. So yeah, just something to think about before you're coming here. You know, these reasons you can, if you're thinking to come and live here, Go and stay away from home for a little while, even anywhere. But yeah, come and stay here for longer periods of time. Okay, the next one. This is my one. They didn't want to leave their home country bad enough. You know, before I moved here, been coming here for years. Even when I was younger, I would, in my early 20s, I would say, I'm not staying in the UK, I'll, be, I'll leave. You know, I wanted to leave for a long time, but I just couldn't figure out how to do it. And I think in life, you know, when I go through the comments in a bit, <laughs> you know, people say Thais want to go and live in the UK. It feels like all of us at some point in our life want to leave where we are from. You know, it's like boring. Maybe we're just born travellers. Maybe we want, not all of us, because some, I've got some friends that just stay in the same place all the time. But me, yeah, I just wanted to leave for such a long time. And it's like, if this doesn't work out, this is my, my thought in my head, coming to live here, I'll go somewhere else. And I'll go somewhere else, and I'll go somewhere else until I find what I want. And maybe that's life, just a journey of travel, of moving around. But some people like, yeah, they don't like change. They don't like to keep moving. And here, yeah, now, now. I, I believe I will stay here. Maybe not Phuket forever, but yeah. You didn't want to leave bad enough, and so you go, I'll go home. You gotta really not wanna go home. <laughs> so yeah, I won't be going home. And, and I'll, I'll clear this up now on my last video, the never going back. Never say, someone said never say never. And that's right, never say never, but if I had to go back to the UK, it would be to work, get as much money as I can, and get the hell back out. Fact. And yeah, I'm entitled to do that. Why not? Okay, next. And for you guys thinking, where the hell is this guy? It looks like paradise. Pretty much is. This is Katanoi Beach. I'm not in completely, you know, nowhere. These people just getting up for breakfast now in that resort there. <laughs> Well, yeah, it's kind of, I love these times, this time in the morning, this is my time. I love it when there's not so many people around and you can just do things in a bit of peace and quiet. But yeah, the next one, what was it? <laughs> right, yeah, yeah. Okay, the other thing, next one. 
Home is easy. They made it easy. It's so much easier. This is like ties in with what I said in my last video. It's easy. You've got this safety net. You've got if you lose your job, they'll give you money. If you if you're homeless, they'll give you a house. You can oh, yeah. It's just it's made it's so much easier at home. Everything is so familiar. You know where everything is. You know you you move here. You have to start everything again. You you don't speak the language. Doing up our shop, you know, renovating it was a nightmare. It was hard work because it's like, okay, where do we go and get this? Where do we find this? Where do we do that? Where it's home, you know where everything is. Even buying food, you know where to go, you know the price, you know this, you know everything. And then here you come, a foreign country. Thailand and UK are polar opposites in the way life is. And then you have to start all again, find everything all again. And yeah, home is easier. Even if it's not better, it's easier. So you can go, you know what? I'm just gonna go home. But just so you know, four years now, it gets, it, that goes away. Now it's like, I can't think of going home. You have to stick it out through them one year, one and a half, two years. Here will get easier. Here will become more familiar than your home. Yeah, so yeah, that's where I'm, I'm at with that one. Home is easier. How do we get around here? <laughs> okay, next one. This is one that I've heard many people say to me in our shop. More, this is more of a reason why they're putting off coming to live here. And then I've met some that have gone home because of this reason. And that is putting kids through school. I've got to put the kids through school. That Western education is, is so important. And I'm like, oh. I'm like, you probably, you might know my opinion on this, but I think we can quite easily put our kid through a good education here and teach them more at home, you know? And yeah, many people have put off moving here or then end up leaving here to put your kid through an international school, which I'm not going to do, is expensive, and they grow up in Thailand speaking more foreign than the native language. That's not gonna happen with our child, no way. My child is going to a Thai school. I think so, so far, that's, that's what. <laughs> as long as we get Maybelle on board. But yeah, hey look, Maybelle went to a Thai school and she's turned out like a, incredible person so yeah putting your kids through school and fam in the same bracket family friends a lot of people miss family and friends but if you're living your life through your friends i've been a, a bit of a loner for a long time before i moved here you know at some point you have to say this is my life i'm living my life you know obviously I miss family and we'll, we'll visit we'll take macy soon when she's big enough oh that was it there's a comment will you ever take Macy and Maybell back to Scotland to visit. Yes, I will, 100%. Will I take her back to see my family? Yes, I will, most definitely. Will love to, can't wait to do that. And yeah, but it will be for a holiday. And <laughs> yeah, love to take them and go traveling around the UK. The UK, even though what I said in the last video, it's still got beautiful places, but there's some very bad issues happening there. And if you, in denial, you probably live in one of the affluent areas where you're not so affected. And yeah, I'll tell you something in the next part, how I can recommend to maybe awaken you. Okay, so the last one before we get into part two, I'm gonna combine these last two together, which is health problem, health reasons and Never being a citizen, some people uh, really can't handle this. I've seen some people write comments, you know, they're, they're sick of the... Oh, this is for the next bit, isn't it? This is for the next part of the video. Yeah, health and never being a citizen. So I suppose where I'm from, you know, UK, if I have a health issue, I just go straight to the hospital. Here, I either have to pay or I need some sort of insurance, you know. Some people probably believe healthcare in their home country is better. Well, if you pay here, you can get 
top class healthcare and then you know never been a citizen as in you have to keep doing your visa you have to report on a regular basis 90 days I probably forgot mine again I keep forgetting mine <laughs> you know you live here it's like I forget about this three months I have to go to the immigration and just you know so yeah I'm here whatever I don't know yeah health like maybe as people are getting older retired here they want to feel more safe at home another person told me they left here because they find it healthier at home they live a healthier lifestyle here obviously Phuket holiday place easy to get sucked into the holiday vibe takeaway food most people eat out more here than they do at home I we've only just started because of Macy cooking back at home me I'm the cook maybe I can't cook uh, and, and eating healthier when you eat out and takeaways all the time you don't know what they're putting in your food so uh, many different different health reasons you can live healthy here some people come to live a healthy lifestyle so yeah it's, it's all depends on you for me now I'm going to work harder and living healthier here and try not to drink so much Singer and Leo <laughs> you know so depending wherever you are in the world you, it's up to you how healthy you live right but yeah the environment could have a, a, an impact and never being a citizen well yeah this some people don't like but for me I quite it doesn't bother me I'm, I'm more of an individual anyway individualism I remember reading a comment on this so that's it really for the for the why foreigners leave that's kind of all the kind of main reasons I've come into contact with quite a lot as well so you know it's happening you better if you're gonna move here you better really want to do it and really get yourself set up for all these things we just spoke about get your mind there you got to get your mind in the right place I'm going and never coming back <laughs>
yeah, fake news and, and da da da, it's here. Political warfares, it's here, you know, it's all here as well. Yeah, Thailand has its own problems. Uh, what I will say is, even though it's got its own problems, the safety aspect of living here in Phuket, in four years I've never had an incident on the street. I feel so safe, it's unbelievable, and that's massive in life. And for the people saying you're, you're wrong about the UK, try living in some rough areas, yeah? I come from a council estate, and I grew up in a council estate. I worked all over London in some rough areas, yeah? Try going there, you might change your mind. I said the UK and the USA and Europe are the bad guys. Okay, well, we've been pulled up on that a few times. Maybe they're not the only bad guys, all right? But they paint themselves to be the best guys going, and yeah, I believe there's bigger agendas behind a lot of the stuff that's happening in the world. So that's my point of view. What was the other thing? Immigration. I'm not against immigration. I am an immigrant living in Thailand. I emigrated to Thailand. I'm an immigrant. I have many immigrant friends in the UK who emigrated to the UK. I've been treated by immigrants in, in UK hospitals. <laughs> and on and on and on. I said mass immigration. So, yeah. But you're not allowed to have an opinion in the world today. You're not allowed to say certain things. If you go against the narrative, you're a criminal. They will criminalise you. Like, you know, it's, it's, it's scary what is happening in the, in the world of this wokeism of bull feelings, running the world on feelings. That's what they seem to be doing. But anyway, yeah. Instead of going through all these comments, thank you for all the comments. There's lots of them. Most are in support. And yeah, you know, I'm allowed to have my opinion. Oh, look, I'll end it with one thing. Someone said, does your family have the same opinion as you? No, they don't. Not at all. My mum, my sisters, completely opposite. Yeah? But it doesn't matter. We love each other. We have a great relationship. And we don't need to talk about these kind of stuff. We just go on living our lives. That's kind of my point. I come to Thailand. I can just live my life peacefully here. And be the best I can. Trying to live my best life with my little family. And that's it. That's all I can do. So, yeah. Thanks for all the comments in that video. Yeah. It was interesting, if you haven't seen it, go and have a read. It's quite interesting to see other people's point of view and the, and the majority are saying, hey, this is not just the UK, this is happening all over the West. How, why, how is it happening in all these places the same? Come on, people. <laughs> no, I'm not getting into it. That's it, the next video I'm really excited about. If you're not subscribed yet, the next video is something I'm starting, a new thing here in Thailand. I'm very excited, actually getting into something that I'm really passionate about. So I've shared a little bit about it already, but I'm stalling now. I need to get something in place first, but that's coming soon. See you in the next one. Thanks for watching. This bit, big bit of land for sale here next door to my place, by the way. You never know, what, what could we do here? Anyway, <laughs> see you in the next one. Take care, goodbye.